Hello, welcome to GeoAI tutorial number 17. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a label data set for deep learning. Assume that you have uh, some satellite data or uh, aerial imagery, and you want to extract some objects uh, from the data, but you don't have any label data. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create label data set from scratch. Uh, specifically, uh, in this example, for, uh, I want to extract the buildings from the imagery, but I don't have any building labels. Um, I'm going to show you how you can do the digitization within the Jupyter notebook environment without using the desktop GS. So it's very much similar to the traditional way of doing digitization, but we are running that in the browser uh, without desktop GS. Um, so this makes it really uh, useful because you might be using some cloud computing environment and there's no, no really like graphical user interface for you to run desktop GS. And you can use this one to do uh, create label data for any object you want to detect from the imagery. This is uh, what I'm showing you here is a one meter resolution uh, area imagery from the USDA National Agricultural Imagery Program. So I want to extract the buildings, but I don't have the label. So what I can do here is simply using this tool, I can just click the toolbox and then I can um, just click on the map and you'll be able to create any labels that you want. <clears throat> you can also click again to drag and drop uh, if this is not accurate. So, and once you have this, you just double click and then it should be done. On the right here, it's gonna show you basically the uh, attributes. So you can uh, preset some of these attributes or the properties and you can make changes. For example, this would be uh, building one, uh, maybe the area you can increase. You can set a height, you can set any attribute that you want. After that, just click save, then it should be done. If you draw another rectangle somewhere, for example, I create a boundary for another building, double click, and then I can change this one to building two. Again, click save. Uh, you can also change the type. After that, you can go back to edit uh, the polygons. So if they go back to the first one, click, it will show you on the right here, it's uh, showing the attribute of the corresponding uh, polygon. If you click this one, you'll be showing you here building two. So it's very uh, easy and intuitive. And I'm going to show you how to set this one up and so they can use that on your computer. To follow through, you need to go to the uh, GeoAI website. The link is in the video description below. And then on the left side, click examples, create vector data. And then you can either run this one using Google Collab. So right click, open this one in uh, Google Collab. And then you can comment out the first line to install this package. Make sure you install the latest version. If you have already installed this one on your local computer, you need to install the latest version because I just added the feature uh, yesterday. Or you can just click download button and then you can download this one to your computer. Uh, but you do need to install the packages uh, locally in order to be able to use this one. So I've set it up on my computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But uh, if you want to learn more like once you have the label how to uh, do the deep learning, how to train the deep learning models, you can check out the GeoAI tutorial series. I've show you uh, from scratch how to um, create training data and how to um, use that for object detection, train your own model to do all kind of object detection. Um, but today we're just going to specifically how to create a label data set before you can generate the image chips uh, for, for doing uh, deep learning. So it's very simple, easy to use. Let me restart my kernel. So we can start from scratch. So the first step is to uh, import the library. Uh, very simple, just import GeoAI. You don't need any other packages. So under the hood, this is using LeafMap and also MapLibre to show you how to create a map, um, to create a map and also create those uh, widgets for doing uh, digitization. Once you have this, we can um, just use the GeoAI.MapLibre class to create a map. And then you can specify the URL, basically the base map, uh, the data set you're going to use. So I'm going to use just the um, imagery that I put on Hugging Face. Then we can use the egg code layer. If you just uh, have some data set locally, you can use the dot add raster, uh, either one is fine. Then I'm going to add layer control. And you can specify what kind of a draw control you're going to use. So it depends on the um, features you want to digitize. So it can be point, it can be line, it can be polygon and also whether or not you want to have a DD button, basically the chase button. So this will be the four button, basically on the upper right corner of the map. And one thing that you uh, want to be uh, cautious here is don't display the map. So you certainly, you can, 
but right now there's some um, limitation with the map library package so the map you can only display once if you try to display again the layer will not show up so this is something you do need to be uh, careful and you can certainly test it right now because i have this uh, imagery here you can turn the layer on and off you can actually see the base map so if you uh, press control on your keyboard and then you drag the map you actually can see this in 3d and certainly um, in the previous video i already show you how to actually uh, download some buildings uh, for your uh, area but keep it in mind for the overture or open um, a stream map you don't have all the buildings for example this is a new uh, residential area and you can see in this region for example there are not not all the buildings are there so sometimes you might need to create a training data for some of those new areas or you can might want to edit some existing training data but um if it's not available then you might want to create those data yourself so right now we're just showing you like you have the base map so it's using uh, leaf map and map libre and you can actually um, see the 3d um, in this is global scale so you can see the data for anywhere that you like so let me just remove this one coming up so i'm going to run this one again <laughs> so the first step is just adding all the data and then specify customize the layer control you want to add so you have four buttons uh, on the layer control but if you only need like polygon you don't really need point or line then you can just remove this okay once you have this uh, the second step is to set default properties and this one is very important so you need to think about what kind of uh, attribute you want to attach to those uh, uh, features so for this case we're going to digitize buildings so i can specify maybe different type of buildings so it depends on what you want to do at the end for creating the label data set if you just want to for example extract the building outline then you don't really need many attributes but if your goal is to classify different type of buildings um then you might need some of those information so um but it's digitization so you can actually use create any labels or attribute that you want you don't necessarily have to use all of this in your training but it allows you to actually it's not specifically just for doing create label data set it's just like generic um creating gs data this can also help you also for the area for example i can add another attribute I can say uh, height <coughs> and then you can set the default parameters for example most of the building maybe just uh, height uh, I would say maybe six meters for example and then comma that should be so this is a dictionary so the key is basically the attribute column name and then the value is just the attribute if it is a list then it's going to generate a drop down list if it is um, number you're going to have basically up and down arrow key so that you can increase the value if it is just a string then you'll be an input box and that's it so once you have this now we can call this geoai doc uh, create back data it's going to generate the widget so all you need is just the input uh, map that you want and then what's the specify the default properties and what kind of output you want your file to have so it can be any vector data set uh, format that uh, geopanda supports so you can specify gpkg or you can zoom in just to geotation uh, if it's easier for you and once you have that you can just um, assign this one to a variable and then that's it so now on the right here it's going to show you the um on the left side show you the imagery and also the map on the right here show you the panel uh basically the uh, attributes and very simple and easy now that we can start doing some digitization so as i mentioned you see some of these don't have this building here i want to create then you can zoom in to this map um, you can also uh, full screen here if you just want to see um, in a larger screen you can do that so assume this is the area that we want to digitize okay what you need to do here is to go to the right here we have these buttons so we are going to digitize the buildings so what you need to do is just simply click this one and then come here you can zoom in a little bit larger here and then just uh, click on the map it's going to draw a, a vertex on the map and then you can just uh, follow through uh, the outline and then click again and maybe um, somewhere here or i can just do it this way another point and then here here and if you double click then it's going to be done so you can see we have all these uh, vertices here 
you can also select that it can drag and drop uh, if the, the outline is not perfect so for me i'm going to just put here and it looks okay then once you finish the geometry on the right here you need to set the attributes so this is where you can uh it's a mention the default uh, properties or you use the raised the first one if this uh, if you provide a list here the first one is going to be the default uh properties for that column so by default you put the residential at the beginning so it's going to be residential but it allows you to change for example and change to uh commercial industry uh, if, you, if needed then you can specify the height for example six maybe this is height number seven and this is building one uh, city blah blah whatever you like then just click this save uh, then it will, you're done so it has finished creating the uh, geometry and also um, specify the x view and you can continue to i mean do the digitization to uh, finish the task so similarly i can create another one select here 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 and then double click okay so this is building number two i'm going to space with number two and then uh height six uh, again it's also raised thing so click save and then you're done so nice thing about this you can go back always go back to uh, make uh, changes i can click this one you will see on the right the building number one click this building number two but and then let's go maybe to the left side here we have some of the buildings for example some of these and these are probably uh, non residential buildings it can be commercial or can be industry and what we can do here seems same thing i'm going to just click here on this this and then uh, double click all right so once i have this on the right here i can change the properties of how about uh, commercial buildings and then the height may be uh, 12 uh, meters and this is building number three uh, whatever you like just click save and then that's it so you can just follow the same uh, procedure uh, for all the uh, polygons or the, the uh, object you want to uh, digitize. Once you're done with all of those, you can up right here, click this export button. So it will allow you to export this one uh, as a vector data set. Again, the data format is depends on what you set up here. So I set up using geotation, but it can be any other data format. It can be Azure Swift file, it can be uh, geo package or other data format once you're done just click this export button and it's going to show you here where this one is being saved to so under your computer and then the file name by default is just going to be the date and also the time so we have it right now is uh, uh, um, april 5th 2025 and then this 906 30 so uh, in the morning so this is the file the name that it's going to use by default and you can find the file on this here Right on the left side, you should be able to find the file uh, un uh, under the current working directory where you have the notebook and you can double click. Then you'll be able to see all this. And if needed, you can also add this one to the map so you can create a new map. You can load this one to the map uh, easy. So let me just go show you here. I'm going to just map to equal to geoai dot uh, map map liberate. And I can just so the map first make sure it works right and once i have this i can go back to map um, to dot oops a vector uh you can add geojson as well it's what well, in a way and then i can just pass in the file name that we generated earlier right so this is the file name that we have just control c and then come back to here passing and then i can also add a layer control and to dot a um, layer control here and that should be it. so run it so when you load the data you automatically zoom to the area of interest so take a look now we have this just uh, three we only have three polygons right so by default it's going to be just um, blue color so you have your mouse if you click on that you're going to show you all the attribute that we utilize uh, we created earlier right we have the other two here and you can click this layer control to show or hide the buildings and by default, the, file, the, the, the layer name is geotation, but you can actually change it to anything else. Also, by the way, if you need to change the base map, uh, you can just type uh, style and then um, it will be liberty. So this is kind of a 3D map uh, from open free map. Allows you to um, actually see the base map in 3D. So just press control on your keyboard and then just drag and then drop. Yeah, you will see that. 
Of course, right now we don't use the 3D visualization yet uh, for this. If you want to learn more, you're welcome to go to the Leaf Map uh, website. I have tons of more tutorials about how to show, uh, use, utilize the Map Libre for doing 3D visualization. So here we have, um, uh, I'm not sure, probably uh, over 100 examples showing you how to create 3D maps. Uh, you can do all kinds of digitization if you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load some basic data, base map, uh, imagery, and then do some simple digitization. But there are a lot more tutorials here that if you want to uh, utilize. Okay, so once you're done, like, like I said, you can just save this one to a computer. And then um, if when you are doing the digitization, if some of the attributes are not correct, you can click the reset button. You will reset everything to the uh, your default properties and then you can uh, continue with the digitization so for example i can come here and then this polygon run it and double click all right and by the way um as i mentioned earlier you can actually click again so uh, when you click again um, the vertex is going to become a little bit larger that means right now it's being highlighted so in this way you can drag and drop this one something like this um, and also you can click the one in the middle so whenever you uh, need to add a more vertices because sometimes some of the building might be a bit more complicated and the shape is too simple you can add more vertex uh, so right now for example i can drag and drop something like this uh, easily and i can select this one as commercial buildings click save then we are done with new uh, buildings maybe something like this so for example you might have uh, just a simple polygon like this and then I can drag and drop, for example, maybe somewhere here. I assume this is the initial one that I have. Now I need to make changes because in this corner here is not really accurate. So what you can do is to go here, click this button again. And um, um, in the center here, you see actually there's another vertex. So if you click this one, you see it always add more um, uh, uh, attributes, uh, add more points. So now I can drag here. For example, I can click this one to here and then I can drag this one off to here, right? And then I can drag this one here. So in this way, you can edit the buildings um, more accurate and take a look. So you don't have to finish everything all in one round. You can just create a rough shape first and then you can um, make some editing to make it better. So once I have this, now I can make changes, for example, uh, 3004 and this is building number five and then just click save then you're done so if you hover your mouse again click this one it all the attributes should be updated automatically once you're finished just click the export button and then you export this uh, to your computer then you can do the testing see if it works right so i'm going to run this one again and we should have those buildings oops uh, where is it? Oh, that one, the last one is not saved. Interesting. Uh, we have four of those in here. So let me go back. Oh, because it's being highlighted, I think we need to click this one, click save, and then uh, unhighlight it, and then click export. Hopefully, uh, it's there. And let me run again. Oh, hmm, something is weird. It's not showing up. Uh, oh, oh because of the date uh, because of the time because when we export it the date is going to be updated so we should have more files in here and that's the reason why it's not coming up uh, so if we should be using this one um, 9 12 25 so you need to copy basically update the file name so that it's going to show up um, we'll just make you code. come here control c and then control v run again you simply see all the buildings that we have um, digitized take a look so now it's here of course we only have the building data layer from those uh, base map and also over to a map um, but that's not the not, not not the point the point is that you can create label data for any data set that you want using the um just the jupyter lab uh, interface without having to use test.js i'm actually running this one in a jupyter hub so it's actually remote environment it's not on my local computer but i can still use it to um, access my remote uh, instance and then create a uh, training data. Okay, so that's all for this uh, tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one.